Hey, welcome back everybody. Again, it is really good to see you. I've kind of had it on my mind these past few weeks, uh, this first principle of leadership, which is to know yourself and to seek self improvement. Uh, like I said, it's kind of hit me hard these last uh, few weeks. So we're going to dive into this. And if you're trying to master your field craft or develop your tactical virtue, make sure you subscribe to the channel, click that notification bell so that you can stay up to date. So, you know, when it comes to this first principle of leadership uh, that is, is used throughout the military, it was actually first written down around 1951 by the Army in what was then uh, the field manual or FM for leadership, which at the time was 21-10, and it was subsequently rewritten a couple decades later to FM 21-100. Now it's uh, ADP 6-0. Uh, and but through the revisions, the principles of leadership uh, that were formally defined have kind of uh, been replaced by some other models and diagrams, things of this nature. Uh, the intent is all still there. Nothing has changed, uh, but the actual formalized list of the leadership principles is not there. The Marine Corps, on the other hand, uh, that, and that's where I had first learned my principles of leadership, was in the Marine Corps back in the 90s, and I knew, you know, know yourself and seek self-improvement. So, you know, this principle's been around forever. It's nothing that's brand new. Uh, you know, truth be told, it probably is nothing new under the sun. Uh, we haven't always identified these few words as a leadership principle, uh, but the theory and, and the thought and, and the spirit behind these words has always been there. You know, you could go back uh, even to, to biblical times, you know, don't judge others unless you want them to judge you. Pull the log out from your own eye before you pull the speck out from somebody else's eye. So it causes us to look inward, you know, to look in the man in the mirror and uh, to, to, to quote some Michael Jackson and, and look at ourselves and find the things that we are doing wrong or just lessons that we need to learn from uh, from our own experiences to make improvement uh, because if we're not constantly improving this is you know one of dimming dr. Deming's uh, uh, theories in his management principles is we need to be constantly improving and if we don't do that we're gonna become stagnant and hypocritical in everything that we do so as an example for, for me, especially like I said, these last few weeks and then reaching back, uh, it started off a, a couple months ago uh, when I posted a how to use a compass video. Now I, at the time I was using a, a camera, I actually used a couple cameras for that one. Uh, one was a, a Canon uh, 40D, uh, which is a great still photography uh, camera but when it comes to video it doesn't auto focus and I also used my iPhone at the time for that one and so when I shot this video it looked and appeared like everything was in focus and I'm having to, to manually set it so I'm coming up I'm manually setting I'm coming back and I'm looking in, at the viewfinder and I'm coming back and I'm coming up and I'm, I'm manually setting and then I'm moving back and I think I got everything right and I get back to the house and I, I download everything on the computer I start editing I'm like oh my god Stoker no you didn't do it man there's some of the stuff that is not in focus so I can't believe it and I'm like man Stoker what are you gonna do so well yeah, let me just let me just piece this together and I'll put it out uh, on, on and post it on YouTube and nobody's gonna watch it anyways uh, and and so for a long time really nobody did watch it and then all of a sudden for some reason uh, it really started to take off about a week and a half ago two weeks ago uh, but by time now uh, when, I, when I'm shooting this and it went from like next to nothing and just absolutely skyrocketed just absolutely skyrocketed uh, I think at the time now I'm sitting at maybe hundred fifty thousand views and truly humbled and the responses most of the responses to the video were absolutely great uh, it, it had a lot of really good comments and conversations in and through uh, that video. And of course, a lot of them, you know, like, hey, Stoker, man, learn how to take a video that's in focus. And most of them that were even as relates to that were not negative or mean oriented, maybe, you know, onesie twosies here and there. Um, but I was really struck and it caused me to look inward to myself and say, man, Stoker, you know, you never know, you know, which videos are going to be accepted and viewed by the audience, by you all out there. 
So you really have to make sure, talking to myself, you know, I have to really make sure that the quality of the content that I'm producing is better than that uh, because I, I'm really passionate about sharing some field craft and some, some tactical virtue, you know, talking about the human dimension and, and, and the causality, the reason why I believe these things are important. And of course, you know, not just you know, land navigation or orienteering, but just, just everything that involves being out in the woods from hiking to back camping, back camping, I don't even know what that is, hiking and back packing, uh, camping, you know, the, the gear that we use, uh, some of the principles that we use when we're out in the field, the mind state that we have, and, and things that we value and, and trust and hold as bigger and beyond ourselves. And I, I would like to think that sometimes I, I do a decent job at sharing these things, uh, but I have to make sure you know, that as I'm trying to capture them on film or video here and pushing them out there uh, uh, into the world wide web as it would be, that the meaning isn't lost because of something that was out of focus or something that was misspoken or something that was cut short and I should have added on more to it. Uh, so yeah, I really, I, I had to take a hard look at myself and it's something as simple as this, you know, because if I can't do it, uh, with something as simple as producing a video, you know, how am I going to apply that same principle to how I'm leading troops at, at, at work? You know, uh, I have quite a few soldiers that I have to lead and develop and to teach and to coach and to mentor. And I, I can tell them all day long, you need to get better at X, Y, and Z. But if I'm telling them that day in and day out, and I'm not applying the same principle to myself, then ultimately I'm a hypocrite and that, that, that's, uh, that's no bueno. Uh, so I have to really stay in tune with myself. Uh, so, you know, this is a principle, uh, although it's defined as a leadership principle, it is something that is just a principle of really just being a good servant, of, of being a good citizen, of being a good soldier, a good husband, a good spouse, a good wife, a good student, you know, a good anything. is just a virtue uh, and, and a principle that we really need to apply to ourselves all the time, 24-7, day in and day out, be constantly looking and asking the questions, asking those hard, tough questions, and allowing and enabling others to enter into us so that they can illuminate the questions that we need to be asking of ourselves. Uh, so I know it's just kind of a short video on that first leadership principle, uh, but I hope that, that you enjoyed it and got a little something out of it. I'm going to encourage you, keep asking yourself the hard questions while I keep asking myself those hard questions, and we'll keep this conversation rolling. You know, if you enjoyed the content of the video, make sure you hit the like and the subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date. And as always, until then, we'll see you.